Hey ladies, can you just quit uh, farting over there, please, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, welcome to Tuesday's YouTube Live. YouTube with this guy here. Hey, today we're going to be doing something a little more fun, a little bit different. We're going to be making a, building a story in this giant <laughs> cup of Java. There are many cups to me. Mm. Hey, you know what that cup gets you? It does. It does a little bit, huh? Can you turn them Yeah. Yeah. Because you look kind of silly with a tiny cup. <laughs> when my hand's bigger than the cup. Yeah. Uh, so, in here we have some topics of a story. And we are going to be continuing a story, building upon a story. I will draw a topic out of here and start a story. Then we're going to have my producer slash costume designer slash uh, director slash uh, catering come in and assist. Catering? Catering. Catering what? Mars? Uh, big Mars. <laughs> uh, come in and he's going to continue the story. Then our gopher is going to run around and grab people. And you guys need to make sure you're listening to the story so when you come in, you will know how to continue it. I'm not going to physically grab anyone. She will not physically grab anybody, but she will ask you to come. Please do not jump up and down in the group saying, pick me, pick me, pick me. She will pick you. Okay? So let's Don't get this show. Yeah, might not. She may or may not pick you. <laughs> so, <coughs> shall we get this going, uh, Mr. <coughs> Corrector, sir? Yes, hurry up. I don't like your attitude. I'm going to sit here silently for a second. One. There we go. One second. Just All right. Just long enough for me to show up. All right. So we're going to pick our topic. Are I just excited? made this show beautiful. Oh. 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 In the back. This just jumped to PG-13. Yeah. Mohammed, that's not very nice. Uh, Mohammed. <laughs> so. Oh, I started to read it aloud. <laughs> so here we go. Here is our topic. Are you ready for this? I was born ready. I guess I should turn that down a little bit. You should. Yeah, I just like to hear my voice. And the topic is, please don't be the one. Romance! Romance! Love story! Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> All right. Our topic of our build a story is going to be... <laughs> love story! Not love story. Bromance! Not bromance. Ew. Yes! Yeah. Mm. Where's the rock band? Yeah. Yeah. Science friction. Science fiction. Oh, Sci-fi. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I already told you I was born ready. Come on. Mo said anything but Seahawks. You love the... Dun, 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 dun. Uh, on camera. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. In the galaxy. Not so far from here, there were two space pirates Ooh. who flew across the galaxy in the Jolly Pogger. <laughs> the Jolly Pogger. The Jolly Pogger. Two space pirates flying across the galaxy in the Jolly Pogger. Are you? She's calm. She's... They were in search of. I think they're fascinating me. No, they are. <laughs> they were in search of intergalactic treasure. Intergalactic. Pirates, intergalactic treasure. Treasure. Got it. Their ship's called the Polywog. Yet they were being chased by the Imperial Navy, known as the Britannicas. <laughs> okay. Yes, the Britannicas were an so, evil empire bent on making everybody drink tea and not coffee. So these are pirates. Pirates. Looking for treasure yes. in the space. Oh, the pirates' names were Lone Dragon. <laughs> and Chewy Wooey. <laughs> Lone Dragon and Chewy Wooey. Yes. Got it. Which one are you? Lone Chewy Dragon. Wooey. <laughs> I'm Lone Dragon. You're Chewy Wooey. And they were in search of the treasure across the galaxies. And they were traveled to many distant uh, planets in search of this. But they were sent on a mission by the Royal Prinsana. Okay. <laughs> Prinsana. Prinsana. It's Princess with Anna makes Prince yeah. Anna. So Prince Anna sent the yeah. sent the pirates Chewy Wooey and Lone Banana yeah. out after some <laughs> in search of 
Treasure. The Dial of Destiny. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, the Dial of Destiny, which could bring peace to the galaxy and keep the Britannicas away from all of the coffee. Yes, and you may continue. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> they got their orders from Princess Bananica, and as they were leaving, the Starfleet troopers were hot on their tails. The Britannicas. Yep, the Starfleet troopers, because this was another band of pirates. <gasps> These pirates wanted to get to the treasure da, before. Da, 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 da. These pirates wanted to get to the treasure before. Chewy Wooey and Lone Banana. Lone Dragon. Uh, sorry, I was so close. <laughs> <laughs> but the Britannicas were right behind, and they didn't know that the Storm Troopers, is that what I called them? No. What do I call them? I don't know. Spaceship Troopers were right behind them. We, we, we need our gopher to start getting some people. <laughs> so, as Chewy Wooey and Lone Banana. Lone Dragon! <laughs> Speed off, they notice that the Starship Troopers are right behind them. Then they notice that the Starship Britannicas were also right behind them. So they decided to hide on a moon. But this wasn't just any moon. This moon was very lush and green Ooh. with a little bit of water. Lots of forest and green. But there were these big holes all over the planet. So you had to be very careful when you walk, because not only would your foot fall in, but your whole leg would fall in. And you didn't know which hole had a leg-eating monster in it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. I, this is from Flash Gordon. Similar. <laughs> similar. I think the trees are from the same planet. Uh, so, Chewy, Chewy Wooey... That scary stuff in that movie. Chewy Wooey and Lone Banana, I mean... Lone Dragon! Uh, lone lone uh, Wing Thing... <laughs> They land on this planet and disguise their ship as a big bush and then they start running and they're being very careful to miss the holes. But just as they're showing up in a little area of water, they hear that the starship troopers have landed. And now we'll find out next. Yeah. Next in individual is going to continue the story. <laughs> so, did you hear our, the story? I heard some of it. Yeah, some of it. Only the good parts, right? Yeah. So, recap, continuing the story. We've got Lone Dragon and Chewy Wooey going across the galaxy being chased by the Starship Troopers. Huh? You just call them Lone Banana. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're being chased and they're searching treasure and they're being sent by Prince Anna mm -hmm. to find the dial of destiny on this moon planet okay. that's green and has water and holes okay. so you gotta continue the story so they're on there and they're running on the planet right? and you continue what, what's happening on the planet now you tell the story mm, what's happening on the planet now it's a planet they're running and running around. They dodging the holes. Huh? Dodging the holes. Dodging the holes. Dodging the holes. They're leaving, you know, they dodging all them holes they're doing. And then they leave. Then they go to where are we going to dodging all the holes and where else? Dodging the holes. Uh, I don't. What's the next line, man? Well, well you gotta write it. Oh! You, you tell the story. You tell the story. You're telling. You, you're creating the story. Oh! Okay. So they put the dodging all the holes, and then what happened? They dodged all the holes, and they going to. You gotta help me out a little bit here. How about? Well, why don't they dodge all the holes, no. but then they fell into a hole? Oh, they. Died down the hole and they fell into a hole. Oh no! Our two pirate heroes. What's in the hole? What's in the hole? What's in the hole? The hole. Ah, uh, it might be. It might be dirt. Oh, they fell into a hole filled with dirt. Oh, okay. And what was hiding in that dirt? 
A gopher. Did you? A what? A gopher. A gopher. A giant gopher. How big was that gopher? I don't know. You did a big one. Ten feet tall. Yep. Razor sharp teeth. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and it had a fascination with biting legs. Oh yes, yes, yes. There. Oh, so they fell into the hole with the giant ten foot snarly, mean looking gopher who likes to bite legs. Right. That is some scary stuff right there. We got scary stuff in our sci-fi. Right. Oh, awesome. We'll continue our story with the next person. Good job. Good job. Man, Good he job. added to it. Oh, to be continued. So, Lone Dragon and Chewy Wooey fell into the hole with a giant gopher. With a giant gopher with big teeth and likes to gnaw on legs. So, Gary here is going to continue our story of our two space wandering heroes, Lone Dragon and Chewy Wooey. Okay, so you've heard the story. You were hearing it out there, right? Right. Yeah, right. Okay. So they fell into the hole. The giant gopher is in the hole. So our two space pirates are in the hole with the giant gopher who wants to gnaw on their legs. What happens next? Hmm. They fight it to, for their lives. Oh, you know, they fight it to their How? You gotta describe the scene. He keeps chewing on their legs, chewing right through the spacesuit so they keep kicking him or her, probably him. So it keeps kicking and kicking and eventually they're all, die you stupid! And then rips it in half. And then the- Which one? Yeah, who ripped it in half? Chewy Wooey? Chewy. Or, or Lone Dragon. Chewy. He's called Chewy. Uh, <laughs> That's right in the name. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> so they rip him in half and chew him in half. Rip. Both. Oh, both. Oh, oh, oh. And then and then they drove the species into extinction. <laughs> they created the planet of They cleared the planet of giant leg gnawing gophers. Like how I uh, can I be solo for a second? For the for the views. Like how I drove the uh, I once got attacked by by the endangered West African killer otter. Oh. Well, that's interesting. So, so what happened after they killed the in the story? What happened after they killed the the giant gopher? Ran for their lives. They ran for their lives. So they're still in the hole. So they ran in for their lives. Was there like a path or anything there? Yes. They, well, kind of. There were there were like stepping, st not stepping. St well, kind of, like on there's a tunnel like uh, able to get. To climb up to the way, like there was just enough handles, you know, for. No, some nice grips. Uh, some the, rock the, handles. Yeah, to, to climb over. Yeah, oh, that's pretty impressive. All right, well, cool. Thank you. All right, all right. So, here's how the story you can go. Oh, great. So, in our sci-fi story, the two space wandering pirates, Lone Dragon and Chewy Wooey, are on the mission. They're on a mission from Prinzana. To find the Dial of Destiny, being chased by starship troopers and the evil Britannica Empire. And, and they were climbing up, they dropped their coffee, by the way. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> so. Hold on, nobody's dropping any coffee around here. So, they, were, they landed on this luscious moon planet that was filled with holes that had something in there that would gnaw on your legs. And they're running and trying to avoid the starship troopers who landed. And they're in, and they fall in the hole. And they encountered a giant, ten-foot, snarling gopher who started gnawing on their legs through their spacesuits. And, and Mo Dragon and Chewy Wooey fought valiantly, and they defeated him with the help of Chewy Wooey. Chewy Wooey ripped and chewed the gopher in half. And as they were running for their lives, still from the Starship Troopers, they encountered a tunnel that they had to climb across with these things, with these hand grips made out of stone. And they made it across the, the the chasm. The chasm. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. And what happened next? <laughs> well, okay. Um, the they made it out of the last hole. The the the, the area they're in is is riddled with holes. The holes. They made it out of the last hole. <laughs> I can. The holes to us are massive to the, the giant gophers that sometimes live in these holes. Um, they're small. Fortunately. Uh oh, fortunately. Fortunately, 
thanks to the last encounter with the giant. That wasn't a, a gopher, the, the previous one, right? That was like a... No, it was a gopher. Yeah, but I thought Gary said there was another one. I don't know. Some vulnerable. He gained respect. The respect of the gophers and the, 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 the chief of the gophers. I don't know what they call them. Gophing? In gopher land. It's your story. The head gopher. The head gopher respected <laughs> Chewy Louie for Chewy Louie's ability to chew through one of his gophers. So they were able to, to jump on the giant gopher's back, hang on to its fur, and ride the gopher across the, the giant field. Oh. At the other side of the field, they realized that that wasn't the whole thing. That was just a gopher field. <laughs> just a there's, gopher field. There's more to it than that. And the gopher dumps them off and turns around and goes back into the, the gopher field and goes back into one of the holes and... And Chewy Louie and Dragon Banana. Dragon Banana? No. Lone Dragon. <laughs> and Lone Dragon are standing at the edge of the field. Gopher holes, massive gopher holes behind them, and a massive rock wall ahead of them. Oh. Very good. Oh, that's a good recap. So Lone Dragon and Chewy Louie are at this massive wall in between the gopher fields. And, you know, between the gopher fields and this massive wall, they're there. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, came the Starship Troopers. The Starship Troopers were surrounding them. And Lone Dragon and Chewy Wooey knew not what to do. But their instincts kicked in, and it was fight. They both pulled out their blasters, and they started blasting away. I, I had two, two guns, and I saw that guy, and I, they just started blasting. Boom, 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 boom. And they took out the first patrol. <laughs> and they took out the first first uh, wave of the Starship Troopers. And then the evil Britannicas showed up. And they started fighting with the Starship Troopers. And when they were shooting with the Starship Troopers, oh, they shot a giant cannon blaster and it put a big hole in the wall. Chewy Wooey and Low Dragon saw that this hole was there. And they saw their opportunity to flee while the Starship Troopers and Britannicas were fighting amongst each other. So, Chewy Wooey and Lone Dragon made it through the hole. I know, I <laughs> Made it through the hole. And on there, they found a path of gold that said, with a sign on it said, Dial Destiny this way. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, continue. Have a seat, Mr. Chad. So you heard all that story, right? Yes. So you're going to continue that story. I want you to add on to it. So they made it through the hole. And they found the golden path with the sign that says, On the path to the Dial of Destiny. Chewy Wooey and Lone Dragon do what next? So they made it to the hole. They made it through the hole, yes. Okay. Yeah, so what happens next? They go through the hole. They go through the hole. And they follow the path. What happens on that path? Mm. Path. Yeah? Mm. They, so they follow the path down? Yeah. So Lone, Lone Dragon and Chewie Wooey follow the path down. Do they encounter any enemies while they're on that path? They encounter the spaceship troopers. Oh, the troopers made it through. The starship troopers made it through. So do they fight or do they run? They fight them. They fight. All right, so describe that fight. What happens in that fight? Well, well, he has to like, kind of like chew him up. Oh, Chewy Wooey gets to that chewing again. He starts chewing. Uh, he, I wonder I wonder what those uh, Starship Troopers taste like. Maybe like pretzels. Chicken. Pretzels. Chicken? Tastes like chicken. <laughs> All right, and then what happens in the battle? So Lone Dragon and Chewy Wooey are fighting him, and Chewy Wooey's just chewing into these guys. Yeah. Yeah. And is that it? That's so, about it. Oh, all right, that's about it. Oh. All right, Chad, well, thank you. All right, so Chewy Wooly starts chewing on him. You, you may go, sir. Thank you. Chewy Wooly starts chewing on the troopers who followed him through the hole. Low Dragon and Chewy Wooly start running down this path, and the signs keep saying, and the signs keep saying, you're you 10 meters away from the Dial of Destiny. You're 
15 meters from the dial destiny. They realize they're going in the wrong direction and they have to go back the other way. They made a wrong turn just like Carl on his way somewhere. Ah, so Chewy Wooly and Lone Dragon, they're running in the wrong direction and they have to stop. And they turn around and there's a... There's another sign that says, ha ha, wrong planet. So now they have to figure out what planet they're supposed to be on. Remember, they stopped here because they were being chased by the starship poopers, I mean troopers, oh, and, <laughs> and, oh, and the starship Britannicas, which are very wordy, so I've heard. Yeah, they, they try to over-exploit things. Yeah, yeah, too much information. Yes. Anyway, so now they know they need to get off this planet, but they've encountered the starship troopers that Chewy Wooey, my new hero, managed to chew through. So they've got a little bit of window. They run down the they run down the tunnel that they're in, pop out of one of the holes, and they're covered in dirt. Right? They didn't realize how dirty it was down in those tunnels. So they're covered in dirt. They pop out of the hole, and all of a sudden, there's the Starship Britannicas. But the Starship Britannicas don't notice them because they're covered in dirt. They look and blend in with the with the ground around them. The Starship Britannicas. They sneak. They go looking for them. And once they're clear, then they hustle to their ship, Chewy Wooey and Lone Banana. They hustle to their ship, they get to their ship, and now they punch in coordinates that they that the uh, princess, Prince Etika, Prince Anna. Prince Anna, I don't think that's what it was, but it's Prince, Prince Anna. Prince, Prince Anna. Prince Anna the gave them and off they go. But little do they know that the Starship Troopers there are some poopers still, I mean, troopers still left on the ship, and they take off after them very quietly. We'll see what happens next. Uh -oh. Continue, Sergio. Continue our story. You heard all that, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, this is right up your alley of creating stories. So, the, the starship troopers are following Chewy Wooey and Lone Dragon as they're off to their next planet. What happens? They crash. Oh, where do they crash? You gotta tell. Gotta be descriptive. In a desert planet. Oh, so they go from a luscious green moon to a desert planet. And what happens there? The the there was a tornado going around. A sand a sand tornado, and some of the parts were ripped of the spacecraft. Oh, oh! So now they're not gonna be able to leave the planet. They're going to have to find parts at the local spacecraft uh, shop. Ooh, very good. Spacecraft shop. All right, so so how do they get there? They had to walk all the way there. Oh. There's no water. No water on the desert planet. And they're going to the spacecraft store, and they're going to find parts. What do they encounter when they're there? <laughs> a, a weird moth like alien oh a weird moth like alien describe him he's rude and crude <laughs> rude and crude what's he look like like a moth humanoid a moth humanoid so is he a moth with human appendages or a human with moth appendages a moth with some human appendage. Oh, God, that's creepy. <laughs> oh, all right, so describe their encounter. They're, they're haggling with him. They're talking to him. He seems to be the owner of the shop. Okay. And they had little money, so they had to... Uh, and they had little money. So they had to get a loan from the guy. Oh, okay, oh, this, this, this could be bad. It's a lone shark, huh? Yeah. A lone moth or thing. Okay, so so did they, how they, so they got a loan? Yeah. All right, and, and I'll continue this. So they met the moth man, and he offered to give them money, a loan, or to perform a task. Oh, they had to perform a task. They had to go into the desert because what caused those tornadoes of sand were dragonfly people who would be related to lone banana dragon slayer who distant cousins of lone dragon <laughs> lone dragon dragonflies 
Uh, so the difference between the low dragon and the dragonfly people is low dragon had lost his wings many, many moons ago. That's how he met Chewy Wooly. Chewy Wooly thought they were a snack. Uh, but they became friends. He didn't hold against them because they did look quite tasty. So he said, either you pay me these 10,000 uh, Britannica credits for these parts or you need to go make peace with the dragon people, the dragonfly people. Who are creating these tornadoes and throwing the sand and dirt all over and ruining our water crops so they say well we don't have no Britannica credits we only have these Webster credits and they're like we don't accept Webster credits here ah uh, so they had to take the task Lone Dragon was very wary of this knowing that his people no longer cared for him due to him not having wings because he was a little different he could not fly like them anymore so, Chewy Wooey and Lone Dragon set off to make peace. As they're going through the desert, they encounter the general of the Dragonfly people. And they knew Lone Dragon immediately. And they knew Lone Dragon. And what'd they say to him? Lone Banana, you've returned! Yeah. <laughs> it's Lone Dragon, is what he says. It's Lone Dragon. Lone Banana was my nickname. <laughs> Just because I only ate the one banana. Low dragon there got very defensive because they treated him poorly because he was different. He did not have the wings. Chewy Wooey, Chewy Wooey, Chewy Wooey stood up for Low Dragon and went Aah! and started gnawing on the other people's wings. And Low Dragon's like, "No, Chewy Wooey, don't do it! Don't do it! We're here to make peace, not make pieces of these people." Uh, so Low Dragon and Chewy Wooey were taken and captured by the dragon people and taken to their king, Dragonite. I'm guessing that's his name because we're writing the story, right? Yeah. Dragonite. Dragonite says, ha, ha, Oh, look who it is. It is Lone Banana. <laughs> Lone Dragon looks at it and says, It's Lone Dragon, sir. Says, That's not what we call you, Lone Banana. And Chewy Wooey lets out a growl. <laughs> oh, and Dragonite gets nervous and scared. Says, "Sorry, sorry, you are from the ancient tribe of the Chewsters." And Chewy Wooey was there. Says, "Please do not eat me." And Chewy Wooey does what? Growls. Ah! Oh, oh, what do you guys need? Ah, uh, and uh, Lone Dragon, also known to them as Lone Banana goes, hey, we're here because you are destroying all the water crops on the planet. And the Dragonite goes, that is true, we are. We don't like those moth people. Well, the moth people are like, well, the moth people need the water to survive. And he goes, okay, fair enough, we'll stop. And peace was made. And then Chewy Woody does what? He says, let me reward you for bringing peace to the dragon people and the moth people. I found this in the junk heap on the on the other side of the planet. It's called the Dial of Destiny. Would you like it? And what do they say? Yes. 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 We'll gladly take that for bringing peace to your planet. And we, so they get it. And what do they do? They get it and they go back to the spaceship. Oh, and they get back to the spaceship. And who is waiting there? The Britannicas and the space troopers who have formed an uneasy alliance. And what happens? They said, we have you surrounded. Oh, they go, we have you surrounded. <laughs> and, and Lone Dragon says, I am no longer Lone Dragon. I go by my people's name, Lone Banana. And out of nowhere, the dragon pe fly people and the moth people show up. And there's a big battle. And guess what happens? What? To be continued. Uh, oh, 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 well, thank you, Sergio, for the story. Woo. Oh, wow, wow. That was a pretty good story we got, too. So our faithful heroes have the dial of destiny. Uh, you know. Don't need anyone else. No. And we will see what happens someday. Maybe never. This book might not get a sequel. You never know. Because this story was pretty out there. Woo! But hey, everybody who participated, I hope you guys understand what we learned today. How to be creative. Some public speaking. 
creative thinking, you know? teamwork, listening skills. We learned some good skills by having some fun out here on the live. Now, this story was quite ridiculous, quite, you know, interesting. I'm, I'm more interested in the, the side story of the Britannicas and the Starship Troopers. But, hey, we will learn that. Guys, they, we do these for a reason, to learn certain skills. And we're going to touch on this some more in some later lives. All right, guys, thank you for joining us at To Be Continued in the Adventures of Chewy Wooey and Lone Dragon. <laughs>